So the question that we're asking you to reflect on today is what changes did you implement during the pandemic that you want to retain once our world opens back up? And Julie and I feel like it's only fair if we're asking you to do the work that we do the work as well. So we wanted to share our answers with you. Um, as I reflected on this question, I realized that a couple of the things I wish I could continue are not realistic. So it would be great if my kids did not have any activities on the weekends or if I didn't have to manage getting kids to two different schools. Um, but those are probably not realistic desires. Um, but that there are some other things that I've started to do during the pandemic that with some intention, I think we can retain. Um, the first is reading books with our girls. Um, it's been so nice to have a regular practice of doing that. Um, spending a few quiet moments each day on my porch. I was not doing that before and um, it just changes my um, complete mindset to have that time. Um, I've actually really enjoyed the coaching sessions I've done via Zoom more than I thought that I would. Um, I had used Zoom a little bit before, but I would be very excited to avoid some travel by doing coaching um, by Zoom. Also have liked the opportunity Julie and I have had to do some long-term thinking. Um, our business has been affected by the pandemic. We do um, several group programs and all of those were canceled. So we decided to use that time to do some of the proactive planning that we've always said we wanted to do, um, but finally had a chance to do. Um, a couple of the things that came up for me um, weren't really about me and my family. They were more about things that I've seen shift in the world that I hope will continue. One of those is the pandemic has really raised awareness about the inequities that exist in our society. And I hope that that conversation will not end um, when the pandemic does. And I also have felt that we have extended grace to each other in a different way during this pandemic. Um, someone has to be late to a meeting. Someone has to pause during a meeting to take care of a kiddo. Um, someone sends a draft that isn't perfect and that has to be revised. We've, I, I wish that we um, could extend that grace to each other always. Um, so those are mine. What about you, Julie? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree with that last one for sure. Um, so mine really kind of fall under one major category and, and everything else is connected to that. So my biggest one is not rushing. Like I've spent really probably the last four or five years just in a constant rush and I don't enjoy it. And I, and I have not been felt rushed in the last six to eight weeks. And I want that to continue. What, what falls from there is, um, healthier eating, you know, being able to buy and prep and plan healthy meals um, and eating them rather than grabbing something out of a bag on the run. Um, being outside, like Lisa, as much as possible, it is just good for my soul to be outside and to hear the birds and to smell the honeysuckle and all those wonderful things. Um, spending time getting my house cleaned up and organized and repainted and, you know, things that after 20 years of having teenagers running through my house, it's time, it's time, you know, to do some of those things. I've also really enjoyed, my husband and I have started a Saturday morning debrief over coffee where we just talk about the week and what went well, what didn't go well, what each of us needs. Um, that's been really interesting and, and helpful and I want that to continue. Um, and also I've engaged in a wider range of reading and I'd love to read and um, because I've been so rushed, it's, you know, I'm too tired and I don't feel like it. I haven't read as much as I really uh, like to. So the other thing, this is not necessarily related to rushing, but less buying, there's not a thing I need. There's not a thing I need. And so I'm really, I haven't bought really anything um, in the last six to eight weeks other than, you know, groceries and things that we needed, but really being very intentional and thoughtful about being less of a consumer of things that I don't really need. That's great. Well, obviously, Julie and I found this exercise to be um, meaningful and productive. We hope that you will find it to be the same. We look forward to hearing about the things that you hope to retain after the pandemic ends. Absolutely.